right now I'm here at Chara Alta. Last night I didn't end the vlog well because when I arrived at my hotel, I fell asleep and then because I was really tired. Right now I brought the drone so you gotta you get to see the view from up the sky, like a bird's eye view. By the way, this is Sierra Alta, it's like a subdivision here in Valencia. By the way, guys, this is my sisters. That's oh. <laughs> that's my sister Man and Joy and Valerie. Say hi. Hola. Hola. Sa tingko kung palapad. Dapat ako ang imong main target. Tagyang balat. Okay. She always gets mad because I don't I don't always include her in the vlog. So there. That's my sister. <laughs> Sige, sige. <laughs> sige. <laughs> she always gets mad because I don't include her in the vlog. So, this is the lighthouse, the famous lighthouse here in Tierra Alta. And right now, let's fly the drone. So I hope you enjoyed the drone flight on the place. So I apologize if the audio sucks right now because I forgot my mic in the other bag. And right now I'm taking a time lapse of the whole place. So this is again Tierra Alta. And it's a really fun place here. I hope you enjoyed the drone shots. And right now, I just finished eating lunch and we're on our way to our next destination. So, when you get to Chara Alta, this is what you're gonna see first. The Greek-like structure and also these houses. I also forgot to mention, they also have a zip line here which costs around 250 to ride. It's not, uh, it's not that long, it's just like half a, half a kilometer, I think. And also, What's bothering me is there a construction going on on the other side of the mountain. I don't know if you can see that, but there's bulldozers and backhoes and trucks. But the neighborhood here is really nice. This is Sierra Alta. You can just like a subdivision slash resort. Right now I'm just uh, going around the neighborhood. By the way, I forgot to mention they have a zip line here. Which costs around 250, and Tierra Alta is like a uh, subdivision and a resort at the same time. We have a clubhouse which served like the best pizza, I think, the best best pizza I ever tasted. And their spaghetti has that very heavy Italian style. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some construction going on on the other side of the mountain. By the way, I wanna give. A big shout out to my friend Tubes Noelito if you're watching this Meg. Thank you gitsa guide kag sa mga tips kung paano diri sa Valencia magbiyahe. And thank you guide sa ano sa uh, ano balaw sa mga pliti sa kun din masak asa masakay muna. So guys, please check out Re uh, Noelito no Tubes Instagram account. I'll link it down below. He takes these amazing photos. He works at the DNR and he takes these amazing photos of nature and other stuff. I don't know if you can see it over there. But that's the Magheri. That's the Magheri over there. That. And looks like I just reached the guardhouse here at Chera Alta. When you get here, you just need to leave an ID. Cool, wait, check this out. They have like a designated spot. If you lose your brakes, you can just crash your car here in the side. Ah, ah, it's like an echo in here. So guys, looks like my ride is here. 
And for all, our, our, uh, our next destination is Pulang Bato, I think. Hey guys, so right now I'm here at Pulang Bato Falls. It's very near Chera Alta. It's like a 15 minute drive. You have to see this. The place is really amazing. The, the rocks here are really red. That's it guys, the falls. So right now I'm gonna take some B-shots. I hope you can enjoy it. Right now I'm just trying to take a good cinematics of the falls. But, and also good photo of the falls, but there's plenty of people are going, so I can't get the perfect shot. I'll try to get a closer shot. I try to get closer to the falls. From here, I can feel the water on my face. That's how far am I from the falls. I found this shortcut going to the other side of the falls which has a bamboo uh, bamboo thing a bamboo uh, rails on the side now I'm on the other side of the falls taking the cinematics, the b-roll, the b-shots, whatever you call it. Well, check out this rock formation behind me. Wow, isn't nature wonderful? <laughs> so right now I'm going back to my car. <sighs> so but I didn't bring my other clothes. It would be fun to go swimming. Usually when I go to a place like a beach or waterfall or a mountain I usually take rocks I bring it home I put put it in these little tiny boxes and label them like like this place I I name the box for example uh, as Aurora Force just like yesterday I took some rocks and also right now Pulang Bato because the stones are red so usually I do that for souvenir and stuff right now we are leaving Pulang Bato I got my souvenir I got my video I hope you enjoyed the cinematics I took <sighs> so I don't know where's our next destination mm -hmm.